the editorial director at Daily Express tabloid, a UK tabloid called Liz Hazelton, has been slammed for allowing the carnival of so-called experts to publish up to 44 articles about Harry and Meghan. Basically, in citing hate against them over a 24-hour period, my family, 44 articles over a 24-hour period inciting hate, trashing, abusing Prince Harry and Meghan. Meghan, who has said no word about Charles' coronation, is being attacked every single day. My family, and I want us to have a conversation about a tablet writing 44 articles about Harry and Meghan over a 24-hour period. Not just articles, hateful articles about Harry and Meghan over a 24-hour period. My family, this is unhinged. This is obsession, fixation, harassment, you name it. My family, and we must call it out. And my family, it's true what they say. Meghan and Harry make so much money for the media. Just mentioning their names. Make so much money for UK media. My family, you and I, let's just have a conversation on just revenue for UK media. For Daily Express, for instance. Let's say, for instance, hypothetically, that one article for Daily Express makes them $1,000. Hypothetically, I have no idea how much, you know, one article makes for them. But let's just, you know, say £1,000 or dollars, hypothetically, my family. And... My family, here, you have them write 44 articles. They have written 44 articles over 24 hours, over a 24-hour period. So my family, let us calculate together the amount of money that they could make either in a day from Meghan Markle. So 44 times 1,000 pounds. What is it? Or dollars. It's $44,000 or 44,000 pounds. So my family, let's multiply that by 30 days. My family, 44,000 times 30. That is $1.32 million or pounds in a month. My family, once again, I have no idea how much money they make in a day from the articles about Harry and Meghan. But just a rough idea. Let's just use, you know, $1,000 as a minimum amount. And my family, you can see from my calculation, my family, that they make so much money from Harry and Meghan. I mean, 1.32 million US dollars just attacking Harry and Meghan in a month. Just hypothetically, once again, we have no idea what the numbers are, but they must be a lot, my family. And my family, even someone called Matt Deegan said that, how crazy are your SEO and revenue targets to mean your team have to write 44 articles about Meghan and Harry in 24 hours tagging the director of editorial at Daily Express. UK, Liz Hazelton, a middle-aged Caucasian white woman, my family. These people are so, so cruel, what they do to Prince Harry and Meghan every day. This is just so, so cruel, my family. And Meghan has not uttered even a word, a word, even just one word about Charles' coronation, my family. Even someone called Edwin Hayward, in response to this, you know, 44 articles written about Meghan and Harry over a 24-hour period, said that this 
is what industrial scale hate mongering looks like. All the stories attacking Megan mainly and Harry quite a bit, Megan is the target, appeared on the express website within the last 24 hours. 44 bile hate filled rants in just one day. That's a pace of 16,000 attacks in a year in just the Daily Express tabloid. My family, and they are mainly attacking Megan, who has been seen from their own account once, once this year. Once this year. But despite that, Megan is still abused. Despite that, they still incite hate against Meghan Markle. A carnival of so-called expert even at Talk TV was calling for Harry and Meghan to keep quiet. In my family, by their own account, Meghan has been seen once, once this year. My family, once, just once. My family, in the year of 2023, and that's on International Women's Day by their own account. My family, where well, they created an infograph on Meghan Markle sightings from the year of 2022 to 2023. And my family, since April to this day, April 15th, Meghan has been seen four times since April last year of 2022 to today, April of 15th, 2023, Megan has been seen four times only. But yet, a carnival of so-called expert at talk TV called James Mack, Max, sorry, say that Megan should stop doing podcasts. Stop taking money. While at the same time, this carnival of so-called experts like James Max and the others are making money from inciting hate against Harry and Meghan. Meghan, who has been visible four times since last year. Since last year. Yet every day, there's an article about Meghan Markle. Every single day. Non-stop. Every day. Non-stop. Article after article, Daily Express, 44 articles over a 24 hour period, mostly attacking Meghan Markle, who has not said a word about Charles' coronation, whom we have been told just isn't coming to Charles' coronation. And even because of that, she's being attacked. Because the tabloid media wanted a chance to abuse Meghan at the coronation and make money from it and because Megan ain't coming Megan being their target as I've said Harry is not really the target it's Megan even Megan said it in the Harry and Megan documentary she's the target and my family the target is not coming target of abuse racism insults handling harassment is not coming and we have the tabloid media throwing a tantrum my family, first of all, I want you to hear the delusional stuff that James Max has been saying on Talk TV. That Megan should stop doing podcasts. First of all, in those podcasts, Megan does not even talk about, you know, like the royal family or, in, or like that's my family or the royal family, really. In those, you know, podcasts, she speaks about, you know, uplifting, you know, empowering women. Feminism and my family, they don't want her to make any money whatsoever to be able to fund her lifestyle to pay for her security. Which every single day, the rhetoric, the right wing hateful rhetoric of the media tabloids in the UK constantly inciting hate against Harry and especially against Meghan requires for Harry and Meghan to be able to always have 24-hour protection, 24-hour 24 24 hour security. 
My family, that's what Harry and Meghan require every day because of the hateful rhetoric coming from the UK media. But yet someone says, Meghan should stop doing the podcasts. How do you expect her to earn a living? Oh wait, I know you don't want her to earn any penny. You don't want Meghan to earn a living because you told your readers that Harry will come back begging. Them working ruins that narrative. Them working and earning their money ruins that narrative. Sold to the public, Harry will come back begging. Harry making millions of dollars worth of deals in Netflix, Spotify, ruins that narrative that they'll come back begging. My family. And my family, this carnival of so-called experts are just full of so much hypocrisy. You know, how dare they make money from Harry and Meghan at the same time, in the same breath, in the same sentence, declare, don't do podcasts. Stop taking money. At the same time, they are taking money from attacking, abusing Harry and Meghan. My family, just hear James Max being delusional on Talk TV, please, my family. Kindly just hear this, please. My family. Is a guru saying it's none of our business? Well, you just commented on it to your three million followers. And actually, it is our business because they took the money from Netflix and did the books and all that stuff. So I'm afraid they want us to talk about it. So all of this nonsense, it's its just, he's just flown, you know, like all their friends. Oh, you know, they just want a quiet life and all this stuff. So then stop briefing your friends. Stop doing the podcast. Stop taking the money and we'll stop talking about you. But if you're going to take the We'll stop talking about you. Has Meghan said even a single word about Charles coronation for you to talk about her? For you to not stop, you know, for you to stop talking about her? Has Meghan said a word about Charles coronation for you to talk about it? Or for you not to talk about it? Because still, Meghan has said nothing about Charles coronation. And still, they keep talking about her. So Harry and Meghan being silent does not help. Exactly what I said. We went, you know, away, fled the UK, and over a year, during the lockdown period, we were quite silent. But what happened? The bullying, the abuse was relentless. So my family, when James Max said that stop taking the money, you know, and also don't do podcasts, and also then we'll stop talking about you. You are a liar. You are lying. You are lying. Daily Express itself published, my family, over 44 articles in 24 hours on Meghan and Harry, mostly attacking Meghan Markle. And Meghan has said zero, zero words about Charles' coronation. Zero words about Charles' coronation. But still, she's been attacked. Still, she is being abused by the UK media. So my family, these people are lying. When Harry and Meghan were in the UK, they say that, stop taking taxpayer money, Harry and Meghan. If you do that, we'll stop talking about you. We'll stop criticizing you. Well, guess what? When Harry and Meghan said, hey, look, we don't want a penny of taxpayer money. What happened? They were called greedy. They were saying that they were cashing in on their old titles. You know, I'm fundamentally opposed to this narrative. That, hey, look, as the UK media, only they are entitled to profit from Harry and Meghan. I'm fundamentally opposed to that. This narrative, only they have the right. To cash in on Harry and Meghan. Only they have the right. And Harry and Meghan have no such right whatsoever. They can't cash in on themselves. They can't tell their own story. Harry can't write his memoir. Harry can't do a deal with Netflix. Somehow, the only thing that is acceptable in the minds of the UK media is that Harry and Meghan speak to them. Harry and Meghan leak stories about other members of the royal family like what they are expected to do. 
but to the UK media to play the game. My family, a game that even if Harry and Meghan would have played, it was rigged against them. My family, the destiny of the spear was always meant to be a failure. So William can be embiggened. That was Harry's destiny, to be a failure. My family, when they see him thriving in the US, making hundreds or millions of dollars, it hurts them. They see that money as being their money, as money that they are entitled to. And that is what I am fundamentally opposed to. If you do not want Harry and Meghan to leave, then guess what you should have done? Stop the abuse. Stop the racism. Stop the hounding. That's what you should have done. That's all what you needed to do. But that's not what you did. Every single day was a bash fest of Harry and Meghan in the UK. And still is, even when Meghan has been seen four times over a one year, over a one year period. Since back in April of 2022. Meghan has been seen four times publicly. But they say, oh, she wants attention. He's been seen four times over one year. But every day, if you just Google Meghan Markle news, the first thing you'll see is thousands of articles on Meghan Markle. You will think Meghan has been spotted today, yesterday, the day before that, over one year period, over a one year period. But that's not the case. That's not the case. It's the appetite that people have to read about Harry and Meghan. That's so, so insatiable. So, so insatiable, my family. When that news came out that Harry was coming to the coronation alone, without Meghan, actually a little bit, my family, someone said that the BBC, my family, the article on it had basically been read up to Two million times. Two million times. My family. My family. And you wonder why, you know, they can never ever stop talking about Harry and Meghan. You wonder why, whenever anything has to do with Harry and Meghan, it has to be breaking news. Harry is coming to Charles Condition. However, Meghan will stay in the US. Breaking news. Yet you wonder. My family, because it makes them money. However, they don't want Harry and Meghan to make money for themselves. James Max tells Harry and Meghan, demands they stop making money. Then how do they pay for their security? How? How do they put a roof over Archie and Lilibet's head? How? My family, we know what they want. They want so badly for Harry and Meghan to fail. They don't want Harry and Meghan to use that their money. They're opposed to it. My family, they also don't want Harry and Meghan to earn their own living. So my family, how do they expect Harry and Meghan to live? How? Because they have to live. They have to fund their lifestyle. They have to eat to live also. So how do they expect them to do that? Without Netflix, Spotify, Better up. How? My family, how do they expect Harry and Meghan to fund their security? Well, every day we have Daily Express and the other UK tablets drumming up hate against Harry and Meghan. How do they expect Harry and Meghan to fund their security? Oh wait, they want Harry and Meghan to be defenseless. So a bad actor can potentially cause harm to them. We know what the UK media wants. We know how they are. My family and lives have been lost because of the actions of the UK media. My family, not anymore. Not, not anymore. Not anymore. Not anymore, my family. And the people who brief their friends, James Max are members of the royal family who are always leaking through sources, sources, 
close to William. So says close to Charles, King Charles ADs to the UK media, and they have fun because they love it when they leak against Harry and Meghan, but they don't like it when Harry and Meghan respond. That's what they don't like. My family, that is unacceptable. My family. And even someone said that UK rock commentators are completely unhinged. They used to say if Harry and Meghan want to be left alone, they should stop using taxpayer money. Now they want them to stop doing the podcasts, stop making the money. What kind of BS is this? My family, don't forget, my family, that Harry and Meghan were quiet over a year during the pandemic and they printed daily bile insults about them and Meghan, especially on the daily. My family, once again, I have never seen carnival of so-called experts who are more full of hypocrisy than the ones working for UK media outlets. Never in my life. Never. My family. And my family. Even someone said that stop doing the podcast. Why? Megan's podcasts are focused on women. My family. They have no relevance to the UK royal family. Megan wants nothing to do with them and you think they get the memo after she said no to coming to the coronation. But still, they have a problem with that. As I've said, the UK media have a problem with being rejected. My family, despair was never supposed to have you know, a beautiful home in Montecito. That was never supposed to happen. They were angry when Harry and Meghan put down a mortgage for their home in Montecito. That tells you even enough. That speaks even a lot really, my family. They never wanted Harry and Meghan to continue with their lives. They still don't want them to go forward with their lives. And that's why Every single move done by Harry and Meghan, the tablets are fundamentally opposed to any moves. Like, for instance, Meghan relaunching her blog they take. You have carnival of so-called experts writing hit pieces about the take. Something Meghan did even before she met Prince Harry. They have a problem with that because they know that Meghan using the tick by relaunching the tick she can make so much money and they are angry at any money making deals that makes harry and Meghan continue to fund their lifestyle continue to go forward with their lives my family they want harry stuck in the past stuck you know in the monarchy that's what they want to keep being drawn back to the monarchy that's what they want so, so badly because they can never, ever accept losing Prince Harry. They have never been able to accept losing him. As Harry said, they thought Meghan would leave. It was embarrassing when he left with her. And that's a fact. That's a fact. And to this day still, UK media, my family, just this morning, my family, I even saw something. My family from, I think, Talk TV. Where they have a segment discussing, will Harry's marriage to Meghan Markle fail? That's actually a segment on Talk TV. My family, they are so desperate to break apart Harry and Meghan. Harry leaving with Meghan was so embarrassing for the carnival of so-called experts. So embarrassing, my family. But that's a story for another time, my family. I'll talk about that later. My focus was on this, you know, hateful, you know, articles being written about Meghan Markle. 
my family. They hope to drive Megan away from Prince Harry. That's what they hope to do. That's what they want to happen, my family. So Harry, they believe that if that happens, Harry will come back to them. Harry will be drawn back to Charles and William and Camilla or Kim Milton, people who have done everything in their power to destroy him and Megan. People who want him destroyed. My family, William, I can tell you for a fact, wants to destroy Prince Harry. For a fact, he wants to destroy Harry to embiggen himself. And that's a fact, my family. And my family, but William, you know, will not succeed. I just wish and hope that Prince Harry one day, you know, just cuts himself off from, you know, abusers. Because my family, I don't see Harry getting an apology for the pain that was caused to Meghan Markle. I don't see it. The royal family, Charles William, are not sorry for abusing Meghan Markle. And the leaking that has happened from the moment, my family, even this news came out that Prince Harry will be coming to the UK alone. Ever since that news came out, we have seen how Kate has been saying, oh look, I'm the one behind it. I'm the one who made Megan not come. As I told her, she'll be seated in the back. <laughs> lies, 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 lies. My family, from Kay Milton to carnival of so-called experts like Tom Bohr. My family, lies, 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 time and time again. We've had Charles Saying how pleased he is. This is the outcome he wanted. Harry to come alone. Exactly what happened at Balmoral. is happening again, my family. Of how Charles contacted Harry. Telling him, don't bring Meg. Actually, he said, ha, ha. In a disparaging manner. To the point that Harry told Charles, don't ever speak about my wife that way. My family. And it's sad really. I have to say it's sad really. That they were able to lure Harry. Back to the UK. My family. You know be like Megan. Be like Megan. You know why? Because Megan. We've seen how Megan has dealt with people. Who abuse her. My family. No nonsense approach. You are coming to my life to abuse me. No no no. Stay out. Stay out. I want nothing to do with you. And that's why you have Samantha Markle going to court right now, begging for Megan's acknowledgement. If you read Samantha's amended complaint, you would see this is a woman aggrieved because Megan just won't call her. Because Megan refuses to acknowledge her as a half sister and say, That's my half sister. So Samantha can be able to monetize. You know, any connection with Meghan Markle, that's why Samantha is upset. If you read Samantha's amended complaint, it's someone who is desperate for Meghan's attention. And that's a fact. That's a fact, my family. But I love how Meghan has dealt with people who abuse her. No nonsense, you are out of my life. And my family, I love that 100%. My family, I applaud Megan for how she has dealt with her abusers. My family, I applaud Megan Markle. She's a woman who knows how to protect her mental health. My family, once again, if you have read Harry's memoir spare, you will understand why Megan is done. Megan is done, done. With the Charleses, the Williams. I feel like Harry is wrong in thinking that William and Charles and K. Camilla will ever apologize to Meghan Markle. They'll never do that. Never. Never do that, my family. And my family, this carnival of so called experts like James Max want to lie about Harry and Meghan and ensure they can't, you know, correct their lies. My family. That won't happen. Harry and Meghan, when they lie about them, when they lie about Harry and Meghan, Harry and Meghan will correct those lies. 
when they lie about Harry and Meghan, Harry and Meghan have a right to correct the lies. And that's what Harry and Meghan will do, my family. My family, someone called Anna, in response to these 44 articles from Daily Express attacking Meghan Markle, say that if this is the amount of hate that just one British media outlet can put out in one day, I'm sure it is not difficult to understand why Meghan Markle might not feel comfortable coming to Charles Coronation. My family and I love Meghan 100% for protecting her mental health. My family and my family someone that said that Daily Express tabloid in the UK wrote 44 hateful articles about Megan in 24 hours. This is what Prince Harry's extended family is enabling my family. People are taking notice and people are calling it out my family. Someone say that this is just one UK publication and others are even more vile and churn out eight mongering articles at the same rate on TV and radio every day. My family. Someone said that it's about time to put an end to this abuse, hounding, harassment of Meghan Markle. Something must be done. Enough is enough. So my family, Sanko Malaika said that one on the left is Telegraph's infograph on how many times Meghan Markle, Duchess or Sussex has been out and about this year. Officially one. On the left is the number of articles that have been written about her and her husband by the Express in the last 24 hours. 44 articles targeted harassment. Very, very true, my family. I think, you know, I've read enough, my family. Now tell me what you think about this, my family. We must condemn this hate campaign by Daily Express and UK Media against Harry and Meghan. We must keep condemning it. We must keep exposing it, my family. We must keep condemning it and exposing it. My family already determined, even when Meghan is quiet, silent, the abuse never stops. That's what we can derive from all of this. Just as Harry said, even us being silent, the abuse is relentless. So my family, no carnival of so-called expert, should complain when Harry and Meghan do Netflix or Spotify. My family. Or Harry does his memoir spare. Correcting the lies that are being told about him. My family. And exposing his abusers. They have no right to complain, my family. My family, once again, hate never wins. Only love wins. And Harry and Meghan's love, truly, it had so many currents, so many racist tablets in the UK. It has them so much to know that Harry and Meghan love each other. And they have two gorgeous kids, Archie and Lily Bedana. My family, hate never wins. Only love wins. We must keep condemning the hate. However, we must my family. And thank you to everyone who has exposed this hate campaign against Meghan Markle. It's one way to fight this hate by exposing it, my family. And thank you to each and every single person who have done that, my family. With that and so much more, stay tuned on our next video. And don't forget to like, subscribe and support our ever-growing family on YouTube. If you see something wrong and keep quiet about it, you are part of the abuse. Speak up. Condemn racism, condemn hate, condemn abuse, condemn the hounding of Harry and Meghan and call out the abusers, the UK media, for their abuse and expose them for it. The abuse of Harry and Meghan must stop and it must stop immediately. And we are not asking, we are demanding. Stay tuned to our next video. Love you always and forever. Hello, members of Zisco Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted 
that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil and for that I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much family from the bottom of my heart and I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day and I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video, leave a comment below, like and subscribe. Love you family, always and forever. Sayonara.